Hello, it's Chris from My Stamp Lady, and I'm here to share with you this card made with the Hello Cupcake set. I'm also going to show you how to get this bow tied. These thinner ribbons been causing a couple of fits, so I'm going to show you a good tip for that. And I'm also going to show you how to not get that little shadow there on that cupcake from the Hello Cupcake set, which is one of the celebration products. So these are products that you can earn free with a purchase right now through the end of March. 2019 with Stampin' Up. This is the stamp set I'm using, Hello Cupcake, and I'm also using a Life is Grand stamp set from the Occasions catalog. This is one of those stamp sets that I overlooked at first, but have turned out to absolutely love. And I love how you can see this I don't know if you want to call it shininess or just you can get the dimension in there. You can get that with your stamp easily. And then this is, of course, the Hello Cupcake set. I'm also showing you the layering circles. This is one of my favorite, favorite die sets. In fact, it's gotten pretty dusty here. Um, I love using these circles. I use them a lot. I would highly recommend that you have that in your staple of dies. I will have all of the paper supplies, sizes, and what I've used on my blog, and you can go into the description below, find the link to this particular blog post. In the description below, I will also have all of the supplies I've used. You can click on them to see them in my online store. So we're gonna have a background or a card base of Flirty Flamingo. It's a half a sheet, eight and a half by 11, cut to five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter inches. I don't really need to do anything with this right now, so I'm going to set it aside. We will start with that cupcake. So this is a photopolymer stamp set. So I'm gonna pull in a stamp and pierce pad because that will help my stamping. It's going to make that a lot easier. Uh, there's no cushion on your photopolymer stamps, so it's nice to have that little cushion under there. Here's that cupcake image, and you can see the little shadow right there. I don't want that. So the first thing I'm going to show you here is masking with a little bit of washi tape. I'm going to cover up that shadow. This is crumb cake, and I'm going to ink up that cupcake base. Very important that you remove that, otherwise you're going to get a blob of ink onto your stamping. Okay, so we'll put that down and up, and there's my card, there is the base of my cupcake. Now, this stamp set is designed to work together, so I have a little layer of cake that you will need to place overhead. Okay, and I'm doing this from the side, which makes it a little bit tougher, just so it takes a little bit longer to place those. So now I'm inking up the frosting with the Flirty Flamingo, and we're lining that up over the cupcake here. And I noticed I'm stamping a bit crooked, but the nice thing about this is it doesn't really matter because I'm going to die cut this. So let's put the sprinkles over the frosting. There we go. So here is my first die, that's the round one. Then this is my scallop die. These are both from that layering die set. And I'm going to just cut a lovely lipstick, scalloped base to put around that. So I'm gonna pull in, this is my magnetic platform, an acrylic plate. And then let's just position these. Kind of center that in there. And then place that on there. And then we need another acrylic plate, and then I'm gonna run that through my Big Shot. Okay, so there you can see my cupcake without the shadow. So what do you think? Do you like it better with or without the shadow? I like it without. Now I can remove my stamp and pierce pad. And now I'm just going to layer this onto this scalloped piece of cardstock. There we go take a little bit of the Wink of Stella. I'm just gonna add a bit of shimmer. Now it's gonna show up super well on my camera here, but I do like adding that little bit of shimmer. Now it's also probably gonna pull a little bit of the ink, and I'm fine with that because it's a water-based Wink of Stella, and the ink is water-based. I see I'm getting a little bit, but I think it kinda adds to that um, whiter background. Okay, so I can set this aside. I have my little masked off shadow there on my cupcake base. So now on my card front, and actually I can set this just kind of here. I'm not gonna glue it down. I'm just using it for a place of uh, point of reference. 
So I'm going to ink up that Make-A-Wish from the Life is Grand set. And this has the dimension built right into it. I do not need to do anything extra to get that dimension in this stamping. So there we go. Now I have a piece of the All My Love paper. This is a set of 12 by 12 paper that is in our Occasions catalog. And you can see all the patterns here. I, there's so many gorgeous patterns included in this designer series paper set that it is, what's nice is it's designed for both of the occasion sets that are in there. And let's see, it's meant to be and um, forever lovely. But I think you can do so much more. And so that's why I was able to pull this in with this birthday card. So I'm gonna just place this down, take my snail adhesive here. Okay, so I've placed that down, just adhered that down. Now my next step is to take that ribbon and tie that around. Tying bows can be one of the things that can be extremely frustrating. And I have found that with these thinner, like the 1 8 inch ribbons, they are even a bit more frustrating. So what I'm going to do is I'm just wrapping it around my card base. I'm going to give it one tie here. And then I'm pulling in a pair of reverse tweezers, the kind that stay shut. Open that up. Just place that around where the middle is. And it's like having that extra person here or somebody here to hold that little um, knot for you. I'm going to make two loops and then we'll wrap the loops around each other. Push it through and tie it tight. I will have to do some adjusting. So let's, we're gonna just pull, and I hold the center when I do my adjusting, but I can pull the center out now. So we'll hold the center, adjust, tighten, see if I like that. I can adjust a bit more, but I hold the center and adjust. I have found that the um, holding that little, taking that reverse tweezers and holding that center makes a big difference when I'm tying these narrower ribbons. And then I wind up with the ribbon how I like it. So now I can just trim this off. And that is how I tie those bows. And I get a um, bow that I like. And I do have to do a little bit of fussing with that. Now I can still move this around a bit more if I get this in place and figure out that I don't like it exactly where it is. We can adjust it by pulling it down or moving it over. Place the placed dimensionals on the back side here. Let's remove that top and then I can place this down onto that card. And I'm gonna go card front and I'm gonna place it over my ribbon there. So we'll just position that below the make a wish. There we go. And we have that. Let's pull that card base in now. I'm ready for that. So I'm gonna put some snail adhesive on the back here. I'm gonna use quite a bit. Place that down on the card front, trying to do my best job of positioning it in the center. I don't always get that. Okay, and then I like to turn it over and just give it a rub like this. One thing really nice about that Life is Grand set, it includes a stamp that says, and enjoy your day, happy birthday. This alone makes this little, this inside and outside that work together worth this stamp set. So I just took some lovely lipstick, stamped it. You could add cupcakes and do stuff if you want on the inside here. I just put down that sentiment though. So I have make a wish and enjoy your day. Happy birthday. And then we'll put this inside as a writing surface. You could stamp it directly onto the inside of the card base if you would like. To finish off this card front from my metallic sequins, I have taken a few of the iridescent sequins, and we're just gonna add a little bit of interest to this. So I put a little bit of fine tip glue here with my take your pick tool. I'm picking up, and that's the largest sequin. Okay, let's put that down. Ah, stuck to my finger. There we go. And then I have two middle-sized sequins and one really of the smallest sequins. So we'll just pick that up and bring that over. One more middle-sized, and then the small, tiny one. 
There we go. And that just kind of adds a little bit of sparkle, draws your eye across the front. One of my favorite ways to finish off a card is with the sequins. And that is it. That's the Life is Grand with the Hello Cupcake and that amazing saying on the inside. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to contact me, Chris, at MyStampLady.com if you have any questions. And you can find all these supplies in my online store at ShopWithMyStampLady.com. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see when I upload a video. And if you click that bell, you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.